If you follow my channel and you saw that Yeti mug last year, that review, you'll know that I took it out on a winter day, put it in the snow to see how it would fare if it would keep the beverage warm being in snow. Because up here in Canada, we use our mugs in winter too, and it can get pretty chilly. So what's a coffee mug if it can't keep stuff cold, warm? I got cold on the brain. If it can't keep stuff warm in a Canadian winter. So that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put this in the snow and give it a little bit of a test. But let me tell you a couple things of why I like this Camelback Horizon Tumbler. So it's a lot smaller than my Yeti mug, which is pretty big. I wanted something smaller because let's be honest, not all of us want to drink a gallon of coffee or tea in those big, big mugs or tumblers because when you drink lots of water and you're out for a hike and you know what happens when you drink lots of water and well, we don't need to get into that. I wanted something smaller. This is great though, around my desk when I'm doing video editing and photography editing. So it's just perfect for that nice small. It's got one feature that actually the Yeti doesn't have and a lot of mugs don't have. It has an actual silicone rubber bottom, which is really nice because if I'm putting that on a desk, it doesn't go sliding around. Now, if you don't have a rubber bottom, uh, I mean coffee mug bottom, if you don't have one of those, you don't know the difference, but if you have a mug, which most of them out there are just stainless steel on the bottom, they can kind of slide around. They're noisy when you put them on a table. This one, it eliminates all of that. It's got some grip. It's soft when you put it down and that's kind of nice. I know it's a small feature, but why didn't the other ones think of that? I love that. And it is, they say leak proof our spill proof i guess is really the word that you want to make sure you understand the difference so leak proof would mean no liquid could come out my yeti has liquid come out so i don't know if any of them are leak proof but spill proof is where if they fall over it's not going to go spilling out this one is spill proof and you can see here a bit of water just came out of there but it is spill proof that lid will stay on a little bit of liquid might come out but it's not going to spill i would never put anything like this, no matter what brand it was, in my backpack filled with liquid. It's just not meant to be. And the manufacturer doesn't suggest that either. But this got hot tea in it. We're gonna put it in the snow, go for a little hike and see uh, if it's still hot and I'll do the taste test. Come right back. Hey, here we go. This is the Camelback Horizon Tumbler. It's double walled, so it should be able to withstand those cold temperatures and keep this warm. But we're gonna try it and see if it works. This is gonna be the, I guess, the true Canadian test of a mug with tea in it. So let's try that. Yeah, I think that's buried enough. That's surrounded, it's about minus 10 today. So this is gonna be a test. I'm gonna go for a hike and we'll come back in 30 minutes and see how this tastes, if it tastes warm or cold. We'll be right back. Sometimes you have accidents while you're snowshoeing. All right, well, we're gonna make it back and check out the Camelback Horizon Tumbler and see if it's kept things warm. See if I still enjoy my tea. This one is actually buried further in the snow than my Yeti was. Like I said, we got about a foot of snow, so it's perfect to do this test. So about 30 minutes has elapsed. And we're gonna dig in and see what it looks like. So let's get that snow off it. I did get the green color this time for this mug. You might remember in my Yeti, I got a seafoam mug because I think that's what they had on sale. I decided to get something this time that actually looked like it belonged in the forest. So props to Camelback for some good, some good colors. 
All right, let's try this and see if it's still hot. That is still steaming hot. I don't know if it'll show it if I pull off the lid. Oh, I don't want to pull it off. It'll probably probably spill. Then it would be uh, it would spill. Let me just do one more test just to show you the spill proofness of this. All right. So what I've done for this little test here, we're gonna do now. If it fell and you're in summer and it fell on the hard ground, I mean I can't guarantee what would happen then. But we've got some soft snow down here. So let's see what happens when this just falls off into the soft snow, and let's see what happens when that happens. So let's do the tip over test in snow. And you'll see it didn't spill. And let's try it. Ah, with a little frosting of snow. I think this Camelback Horizon tumbler is awesome, totally comparable to the Yeti. Keeps my uh, tea or coffee nice and hot. It looks like it belongs in the forest. It's not huge, it's not honking huge, so I can take it and it gives me just enough for a short hike. That's my review of the Camelback Horizon Tumbler. Hope you found that useful because all of us love a good mug to take on our hikes or photography or video expeditions. So cheers. Can I say that with tea? I'm not sure what the word is with T. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back for more videos of snowshoeing and skiing and fun in the snow. Get outside and enjoy nature. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.